charity which supports veganism is launching a campaign to call on the government to introduce major subsidies for vegan farming. The charity Viva says the COP26 agreement on methane emissions does not go far enough and claims meat and dairy production is destroying the planet. Well, farming coordinator for Viva Kerry Waters joins us now. Very good morning to you. Um, can you just explain the basics for us? What is vegan farming? Good morning. Um, so vegan farming can take on, on many forms, but what we really have to look at is what the situation is in this country at the moment. So we only grow about 23% of our fruit and veg. And horticulture, so that's growing fruit and vegetables, it represents just 1% of agricultural land. And we know that the science is clear. Meat and dairy production is killing the planet. And we've had numerous reports from the Oxford University, the Lancet, Chatham House saying this. And we're today echoing statements made yesterday by the Wildlife Trust, the RSPB and the National Trust that the government doesn't go far enough when it comes to nature-friendly farming. So we're calling on the government to put in place major subsidies to encourage a move away from meat and dairy production and towards promoting plant-based vegan farming. And that means growing things like protein crops in this country to meet the growing demand from the plant-based market. At the moment, we just simply don't have the infrastructure there, but we could do, and it could help back British farmers who are facing numerous challenges from Brexit, taking away the subsidies, the COVID crisis, the fact that their incomes, most farmers, the average is about £20,000 a year that they make. And hill farmers, it can only be £10,000 as well. We see that plant-based farming, vegan farming, actually has the potential to help not just farmers, but also public health, climate change, and also the fact that most animals in this country that we eat are factory farmed. And this could be a Kerry. great solution in helping those farmers make that transition. Kerry, all, all that may be true, but recent YouGov polling shows that only 3% of the public are actually vegans. So why should all, all of us be paying to subsidise vegan farming when only 3% of us are vegan eaters? Well, that's 3% of vegans, but many people these days are actually exploring veganism and, and, and becoming flexitarians as well. But what we know is that the public are looking for ways in which they can reduce their carbon footprint. And dietary change is one of those key elements that we need to take into consideration. There's also been much research done by the Vegan Society and by other um, producers of um, plant-based foods that say that by the end of at the end of this decade, it would be about 25% of the population will either call themselves vegan or, or plant-based. Kerry, thank you very much for talking to us at Kerry Waters Farming Coordinator at Viva. Appreciate your time. Yeah, uh, do